Everyone remembers the sight of moving trucks outside Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's home, paparazzi in a frenzy, tabloids in a frenzy. Yet, when it comes to the moving trucks outside Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Montecito mansion, there's been silence. Apparently, some situations don't attract the same level of attention. Their home has represented their post-royal freedom and their piece of the California dream, but rumors suggest they might not be enjoying that dream together anymore. Recently, Meghan's behavior, which observers noted as manic on the red carpet and marked by a sudden shift in style, has sparked speculation of panic. Yes, full-blown panic. Harry, who once seemed willing to forsake everything for love, may be confronting the realization that there could be limits to his patience. If you think this is mere gossip, consider the context. Montecito isn't Beverly Hills, where paparazzi and nosy neighbors lurk. It's a serene area with private estates and gated properties, perfect for those who want to keep their private lives under wraps. If Harry is indeed preparing to leave, how much does he really have to pack? According to popular belief, not much. He might need a van for his Xbox and a couple of treasured framed magazine covers of Princess Diana, but rumors suggest Meghan retains a significant amount of control, including a certain dignity. As for the property itself, this so-called love nest might have been more of a temporary stop than a permanent residence. For two years, whispers have circulated about separate living arrangements and short-term rentals, with some claiming the Montecito mansion was never intended as a true family home. It even served as a backdrop for filming at one point. If the moving trucks are merely there to collect Megan's wigs, bronzer, and questionable jewelry, it might be because she has a new place lined up. Here's another tantalizing nugget. Insiders believe Harry and Meghan might be financially strained. Imagine investing substantially in a mansion only to find you can't afford its upkeep, mortgages, maintenance, and endless expenses piling up. They may have once thought the Sussex brand would yield a handsome return, but it seems the public's interest isn't as robust as anticipated. And just when it felt like things couldn't get any messier, speculation arises that this moving situation may be linked to Harry's impending inheritance. Did they separate just in time for Meghan to miss out on a sizable portion of royal wealth? Now, the big question is, who's really moving out? If Harry and Meghan couldn't make this luxurious estate work, what does that mean for their future? In the end, this is just another episode in the ongoing saga of the Sussexes. As the moving trucks pull away from the mansion, it's clear that whether they're offloading the mansion itself or the baggage of their relationship, we're in for some captivating drama.